When people refer to the corporate jungle, they don't usually mean it literally. So I've been meeting um, the CFO of Sydney Zoo um, just to talk about some, some business matters and, and, and he showed me around the zoo as well. Deloitte executive Helen Hamilton-James manages more than 400 staff working with clients around Western Sydney. She says women have unique and valuable skills that benefit the business. Things like being collaborative, being maybe a little bit more empathetic, um, also being able to bring teams together, diverse teams together, and, and, and maybe having a different perspective. Now that's been backed up by six years of data collected from Australian companies showing that having women at the top is good for business. This report is showing us that increasing women in leadership levels improves company performance, improves profitability and improves productivity. Researchers found that appointing a female CEO leads to a 5% increase in market value for ASX listed companies. That's worth $80 million on average. And putting more women in key management position boosts market value by more than 6%. But companies who reduce the number of female managers lose 3% of market value or $46 million on average. I think that Australian business leaders, if they ignore this report, they are being irresponsible. All business leaders, boards and executives have a duty to their shareholders and their owners to be conducting their business in the most profitable uh, legal way. The lessons in this research go beyond corporate Australia. For instance, the federal government's razor gang, which makes the final call on national spending, is made up of only men. Kathleen Coldwood, ABC News.